Hey everybody, how's it going today? Hope you guys have been having a good time on this journey of For the Better, 31 Days of Pursuing the Heart of God. And on this day 15, we're gonna, we're gonna turn the page a little bit, turn the dial a little bit. And we're gonna talk about something that might be a little uh, scary to you, that might be, I don't know, maybe something that your denomination doesn't talk about or Maybe it doesn't get brought up in discussions at the coffee table. You know what I'm saying? But one of the reasons that God speaks to us is so that he can tell us who our real enemy is and what our real enemy is like and what our real enemy's objectives are. And in that way, he, like we talked about yesterday, he is preparing us for real life. Because in this Christian walk, the reality is we live it, as John Eldridge said in one of his books, I forget the name of the book, I'm sorry, but in one of his books, he said, we live on the backdrop of an ongoing spiritual warfare, like all the time. It's like the matrix. We're in the matrix all the time, trying to set people free, but at the same time, we live in it too, (laughs) you know? Now, spiritual warfare, it is a part of the Christian walk. It just is. And to deny it and say, well, I don't believe in that stuff. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to deal with that stuff. But it's going to deal with you. And you're going to live this. You're going to live a life that really gets you caught up in things you don't want to be caught up in just because you're ignoring, you know. And I've done a lot of videos on this channel regarding that. But all the spiritual warfare Hollywood stuff aside... You know, I believe that God wants you to know this today, on this day 15, that your enemy is not him. (laughs) See, you thought I was going to go off in the spiritual warfare stuff and get all charismatic and weird. Nope. I'm telling you that spiritual warfare is a part of our lives, but God is not your enemy. And why is that important today? Because so often when bad things happen in our lives, what sometimes a lot of us can think this, oh man, what have I done? You know, (laughs) oh man, God is disciplining me or punishing me for something or, you know, or something really bad happens and it's like, oh, why did God do that? Or it's just like, and God's saying, that wasn't me. You know, so many times throughout the uh, scripture, particularly in the Old Testament, when you read the prophets or you read the Old Testament history, God is saying, I didn't do that. This thing that you're going through or whatever, that is not from me. This judgment or this thing that you think is happening is not from me. If you got mercy, that's from me. You know, if you got, there's a lot of things that God can say, but the bottom line is what, what we want to do today is understand that one of the reasons God speaks to you is that you so you can see him for who he really is and that he is not your enemy and that maybe if he is you know putting a a discipline on you it's not a punishment there's two different things discipline and punishment are two totally different things you know fear comes with it the fear of punishment oh I'm gonna get punished I'm gonna get you know hurt you know by this person who's supposed to be loving me it's like God's saying, like, no, that is that is not me. There's a difference between, yes, God does punish, but God would much rather lead you in the way of kindness and mercy to get you to where he wants to get you, not punishment and severity, okay? And, and a lot of times when we think that God's punishing us or there's this severe discipline that I just, I just deserve it, I'm supposed to have it, yeah. You know, you can think that God's, it's subconsciously even, you can think, well, God's really my enemy. And it's, God's like, no, I am not the enemy. Your enemy is this. And see, so it's like, God's not the enemy, but he also wants to speak to you and show you who the enemy really is and how he operates and how he can get in there and trick and connive and deceive you into thinking that he is God. I made a video on that very thing. So today our challenge is going to be to recognize God is not our enemy. Just that's just that one little simple step right there. Okay? And in doing so, this is why this is important. In doing so, when the bad thing happens or when the negative things happen or when the negative feelings and thoughts assault us, we can turn to God. 
See, because if you think this is happening from God, you're probably not going to turn to him. You're just going to take it. She's like, well, this is God's plan for my life. He wants to beat me. So I'm just going to just take it. You're not going to ask him. You're not going to sit there and say, Lord, why are you doing this? What's going on? No, he wants you to turn to him in every given situation because he wants you to see him as the friend. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to pray. And we're going to acknowledge him as the friend and he is not our enemy. Okay, Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus and we just acknowledge today that you are not the enemy. We acknowledge that there is an enemy and that you will share with us information about how to keep ourselves from his ways. But we acknowledge that you are not it. <laughs> and we turn to you on this day to draw closer to you because you care about us. Jesus name. Amen. Now for some of us, this might be kind of an easier day. And hopefully this is going to be a day that's like filled with like positivity, so to speak. it will be filled with the spirit of God, you know, filled with his goodness and his kindness and his mercy. And that you are inundated with that today. You know, I might, maybe I should have had that be a part of the prayer. Let's pray that. <laughs> but, um, so I hope you guys are blessed by this. And I will see you on day 16. Congratulations. We are almost halfway through this. And hopefully this whole 31 days will just be a springboard to just a greater relationship with God. So I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>